Let's just heal and then we'll head out. Okay, let's try it this way. I've no idea if we're going to encounter radiation. What the? Hi, everybody. This is Corex from the Corex Arcade. Come play my games. I've got them all. Donkey Punch, Whack-A-Plumber, Gagala, Loser Marbles, Space Invaders, and every kind of system, too. Except a CDI machine. I, I really... Okay. Time's up. You've had your turn. But I paid for 15 seconds. You said I could have 15 seconds on the radio. That was 15. Next. Oh, rats. Huh. Interesting. Okay, go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Okay. Go fast. Okay, did we make it? Oh, we made it just about. But Rex is being carried by the guys. Okay. Next time we go to Rail Nomads, we really need some radiation suits for low radiation. Okay. Right. Tex, get him up. Alright, that was bloody terrible. Oh, oh, oh. You Ralph here? We need you we need you to play a trick on the boys wherever they've gone. Where, where wherever they have gone. Right, um Can you talk to this goat? I know. Okay, and then we'll pick that up. What is it? It's a tin can. Oh. We're hoping that's something important. Never mind. All right, and trainees. I'm taking time right, out from the got desk here. to pound you into shape. So pay attention. Fall in. And these are the lads we sent. Okay. Present arms. Order arms. <laughs> Tell you what, why are you here? Chat to the dogs Pretty too. Damn sloppy trainees. I want those rifles on your shoulders before I give the order. I want you to read my damn mind and know what order I'm about to give. Oh, so you know what I'm thinking, do you? <laughs> smarter than me? Damn right, and don't you forget it. <laughs> At ease. Alright. Hey, Rook. No. Oh, well, at least you're being sensible. <laughs> okay, are there any other animals? We're going to have a manager, right? Or whatever you want to call it, following us just to pee him off. Any more animals? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. And Bonaman died a desert ranger. I mean technically you could uh, use that on it. I don't think you get away with it with Angela stood here. Let's be honest. Okay. Let's fill the canteens up. Let's go talk to Granny. Right. Come on, guys. The rest of you. Thank you. Yeah, let's trade. Let's see. What have you got? Whoa, what's this? Oh, right, okay. Selected item. Bye. Let's go to squad and sell. You can have, uh, I don't know, I mean, I said I'd use that to the guy on the gate, so really should keep hold of that. But you can have this, and you can have this, 
and you can have all the junk. Crystal, what the hell's that for? Metal. Oh yeah, we have to give that to the to bloking line cloth. All right, you can have these clothes. I'm not interested in the clothes. And other than that, what are you selling? Thomas, can we afford? We can. We can just. But then we won't afford any ammo. No, I'm buying a. I'm buying a Thomas. Okay. And then we're going to empty. Empty. Exit. Yeah, see you in a minute. Then we're going to put the famous there and we're going to sell that and buy ammo with that. That's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to do this. Mm, pipe bomb. That will get us a bit of cash. Maybe we should sell that. And we haven't got a sniper. I mean... Could we make you a sniper? Critical chance 15... Nah, you only have 7 action points and snipers take a bit to fire, don't, don't they? You'd be a one-shot sniper if we did give you the sniper skill. What is it? How many does it take? 7 AP for a shot and you've got... N nope. And you got seven AP, so it'd be shoot and shoot and don't move, or move one one turn to get in position, another turn to shoot. We'd always have to set you up at the beginning of the the, the combat, put you somewhere where we wanted you. Good critical chance, to be fair. But what else? Uh, what are your skills? Roll, and you haven't got any in sniper. You've only got three intelligence, which is what? Oh, yeah, two points a level. We could give you that a sniper job as well, but ooh, I don't know. I mean, you've got the awareness, which is for distance, isn't it? Vision range, yeah. But you need that. Because isn't it the party's vision range that matters as well? If one of us can see him, we can act as a spotter. I mean, we can't set the party up, send you forward, shoot somebody, then have you run back into cover. But we could put you in cover, shoot somebody with Rex or Angela, then drag them back into cover and let them come to you. Maybe. It's just that you've got the whole, you know, you've got the whole punchy, punchy thing going on, and you started with, tell you what, well, let's worry about, oh, I'm talking with the wrong person, let's worry about selling this gun, and then, we're not selling aces, Thing. No, that would be silly. Angela would kill us. Forty-eight. It's, it does decent damage. I mean, it's probably not good damage compared to the type of sniper rifles we'll find later on. If we go further afield. But... Four kits. I mean, we do need fit finger kits, don't we? We're not going to be able to afford them without selling some stuff. I mean, do I sell the ammo? First things first, let's sell the pipe bomb. Or should we sell the pipe bomb? 50 damage. I mean, that's a lot of damage. So, you what? No, we'll sell the sniper. If we do decide to make you a sniper, Ralph, here, we won't be doing it in the next five minutes. So let's sell the sniper, keep the pipe bomb, because that may come in handy if we come across a big gang where we're outnumbered. And use 
the money to buy a nail nail bard blunt weapon isn't that what Zed is using and it's oh. so it's guaranteed 16 oh, potential 30 or guaranteed 26 to a potential 48 so that nail bard is definitely an upgrade as well Mid midnight special who's on that text yeah, and that's 3 AP again, which is what the the VP is, but it's pitiful in damage. Ooh, I want one of those midnight specials. I want the scope too. Damn it. Um, uh, we also want the ammo. Doesn't matter, we've put Rex and Angela with decent guns, decent rifles now. So a lot of damage should be done before they get close enough. So that's 240, which we don't have. 18 bullets between the two of them. Although having said that, uh, we probably need these, don't we? Yeah, we need those. Okay. Some of my favourite things. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye. What we should do is speak to Vargas about the mission parameters we have completed, which was. Where has he gone? Okay. Which was right, the. Trainees, fall in. Um, sorry to interrupt you, fair. But yeah. Repeaters, recruits. I hope you found a chunk of the synth to bring back for Mer Captain. Also, let me personally thank you for finding Ace's killer, whatever it was. Yes. Um. We yeah. Well, by by the way, sir, it's been an honor finding this stuff out about Ace. So, what can you tell me about him? I mean, we've heard from Angela, but. You know, it's been an honor looking into his death. Ace and I went way back, back to the prison days. We fought Finster and the base Cochise robot army together. We rebuilt the Citadel from scratch. That, that I sent him on the mission which got him killed. Things heavy on my heart, and Angie's never gonna forgive me. Oh, okay. Um. Tell us something nice about Angie. What, what do you know? Do you know her well? Well enough not to talk behind her back when she's standing right in front of me. Hey Angie, how you holding up? <laughs> Better now, General. I'm only crying eight hours out of every day now instead of sixteen. Yeah, but that means she's sleeping sixteen hours out of every day instead of eight. Uh, where Ain't we up no to? No shame in grieving, Angie. No shame at all. No, there isn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, when can we enter the Citadel? Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider mm -hmm. this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, then you aren't cut out to be a Desert Ranger, and we won't let you in. Okay, well... We'll uh, go over this in a minute. I want to ask you a few things about this Kachis thing, seeing as what it looks like we're dealing with robots again. Any experience you can share about fighting robots and simps, or whatever it is you call them over the radio? First things first, base Kachis, where the robots were. Anything you can tell us that might help us now? The place was nearly the death of us. Hell, it was nearly the death of the whole human race. Damned malevolent mainframe churning out an endless army of robots. If we hadn't stopped it, well, I hate to think. It was Skynet. Okay. And who's this Erwin Finster that we heard about in training? Craziest jackalope we ever faced. Might have been human once. Might have been sane, too. But when we met him, he was a crazy android bent on wiping out the human race and replacing us all with mutants. Got his head in our museum, if you want to take a look. It might have been human, but he was an android. How does that work? 
thought it would have been a cyborg if he'd been previously human and started becoming more cyborgy. Unless you're saying he somehow transferred his memories and personality into a complete synthetic body, in which case we're getting into a completely different argument about whether it was him or not. Was it just something that thought it was him? With corrupted memories, I mean, yeah. <sighs> By the way, this prison you used to work in, we've heard that the scorpions are down there or something daft. Our old stomping grounds, since right after the apocalypse. We moved out of there about 15 years ago when we took over this place. It wasn't a bad place, but the Citadel is more defensible. The Red Scorpions have moved into the prison since then. Nasty bunch from all accounts. Okay. Anything else you can tell us about them? They call themselves the Red Scorpion Militia now, and lately they've been filling the airwaves with a lot of trash about how they're the real law and order around here. Just another raider gang, if you ask me. I don't give them the time of day. Oh, okay. Anyway, um... Yeah, we found the page of Ace's logbook, sir. Did you? Excellent work. Let me have a look. Nope. Yep. Mm, not much here, is there? Let me see. Fell in with a snake squeezing cellar. Uh-huh. Okay. Getting that feeling of being followed. Damn, tells a sad story, doesn't it? Guess what came out of the dark was that damn killer robot. Yep. Well, looks like your best lead is to find this snake squeezing salesman, whoever he is. Mentions Rail Nomad here, so have a look there if you haven't already. Maybe this fella knows something more, like where the rest of the logbook is. Oh, we, we already have, sir, and he's give us another loose page and the book as well. Well done, Rangers. Let me see it. Hmm, this last bit is interesting. All these names and places. I heard a few of them when Woodson played me the transmissions. At least I think that's what I heard. The static was terrible. Anyway, I'm afraid the names don't mean much to me, but some of the places sound familiar. I just can't... What's that, sir? Once you're inside the Citadel, Hand this over to our cartographer, Gilbert Sagara. Oh, that mean we can go in? And just... That's Sergeant, isn't it? Gilbert was another one of my squad. We called him Thrasher back in the day. A good man... Oh, yeah, and you were talking fight. about him. Past his fighting days now, though. Took a wound during the Battle of Base Cochise and never fully recovered. Now he's our cartographer and damn good at it. Once you're inside, you'll find him in the museum with Flintlock. Is that Corporal Eggleston, sir? Is that who Flintlock is? Flintlock? <laughs> Flintlock was old when I was your age. Now he's ancient. Okay. He knows more about the history of the Desert Rangers than any man alive. And he'll tell you so himself. So that's why he's called Flintlock, is it? As in the old design of pistols and rifles anyway we've got this robot like from the dead robot nicely done recruits I'll hand this off to our researcher Captain Murcaptain she'll be a pig in shit with tech like this to play with yeah I, I can understand that anyway who's Murcaptain sir we don't really know as many people as we should but this granted it's a post-apocalyptic society and you'd like to keep us recruits outside until we proven ourselves but can you give us any more information about who we're risking our lives for one of the brightest minds in the citadel she's really helped us get our weapons and armor up to scratch and she's always coming up with new and better stuff worth a visit just to see what she's got cooking interesting and uh, obviously you've seen the leg it looks androidy I wouldn't say cyborg, didn't look like there was any flesh or organic components, but you think it's more than just a plain old robot, sir? I mean, it looks like it is. The Rangers have fought robots before, but none like that. I don't know what that thing was or where it came from, and that makes me uneasy. Okay. I've got our researcher, Captain Murcaptain, working on new tech that might help us tracking this thing. 
and that leg you delivered will be a huge help. You should talk to her once you have access to the Citadel. By the time you get the repeaters up, she might have something you can use. Cool. So, can we go in now? Make us proud, recruits. Yeah. Chinese, I'm gonna level with you. This ain't an outfit that lies to its soldiers about the odds. Most of you are gonna die out there in the wastes. Are you still talking to us? In a sandstorm, no, you're talking to them. Strung up by cannibals for supper. Uh, first glance, it might seem like a lot of our rangers Okay, died so can we go in now? No glory, no heroic campfire tale to be told about them. <sighs> Seriously? We've got to do the repeaters first. Are you kidding? Okay, fine. <sighs> so we've got to carry on with Ace's repeater mission. Well, the general will let us into the uh, into the uh, citadel. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's lovely. We'll just get him to uh, promote us while we're here. And then that FAMAS should be easier to use and handle. What else do you need? Hey. <laughs> what else do you need? Well, I was hoping you could promote us. You're getting there, recruits. Get those repeaters hooked up and you'll have proven yourselves true. Yeah. Echo one, there you your go. team's recent progress merits a number of field promotions. Thank you. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. You're Make welcome. Proud recruits. Oh yeah, we'll try not to die horribly. Right. Four skill points. I'm thinking two in assault. One in smart, well, two two points for to make one in assault and one in smart ass for z for Rex. Then, oh, yes, Tex has got five points, has it? That's good. Uh, oh, we have a perk. Ooh, what do we? So what have we got there? Taunt. Uh, know it all. Tinkerer. So let's see what. So know it all is plus two to smart ass. <laughs> what was it one tart? Managed to be chance to hit for enemies within leadership range. No, I'm hoping to kill them before they get within my leadership range. And more carry weight. Crouching takes less action points. Powder packer. I mean, that's nice if you haven't got cover, but if you can get into cover, you get the benefits of ducking anyway. Plus extra cover. You know what? We are going to be a smart ass. That's what we're going to be. So. Yes. Four might have been enough to get more information out of that snake squeezing fella. But. Maybe it works out for the best for him. Get the impression that uh, Angela's trigger finger was a little bit itchy while we were talking to him. So if he had have told us a little bit extra, maybe she wouldn't have been impressed. She told he told us enough to move on. Okay, skill points available. So trained physician. 
on the mend perception tactical positioning Ooh, sounds interesting handguns barter demolitions I'm thinking barter at least and possibly demolitions so yeah we'll go with skills for now and do fighting again next turn I think handguns and perception next turn okay so commit points for you so what's this long arm trained physician tactical position and I want to know what they are do you have yeah you've got one so trained position tactical whatever it was trained where's it gone tactical positioning and trained physician what are they before I spend this point 25% damage dealt to enemies from behind when using melee or ranged weapons. Yeah. Okay, so if they turn their back to me, I get plus 25% damage. With a pistol, that's quite tempting. But normally once they're in range of me with a pistol, they don't tend to turn around. They tend to keep hitting me. So that one, that probably work if you put it on ambush and waited to hit them. Trained Physician. Uh, minus 25% Pulse Revival status effect. Okay, so yeah, that's a good one. What was the other one? Field something? The one for the other one. Field Medic one. What was the Field Medic one? On the Mend. Let's have a look what that says. On the Mend. Plus 10% effectiveness from healing items. Yeah, uh, um, that might be worth it, but uh, Rex has got his, what's that, plus 25%, so no, I can use Rex's 25% instead of Texas, and I, I know Rex doesn't get as many skill points, but what we do is we level text up quite a bit and then once we've got excess left over for Rex we just pump a few into there. Won't be as good, but when you're in a pinch and need it, he won't you know, he'll have the extra twenty five percent. Or twenty five points or whatever the hell it is. Right, uh so don't need to worry about keeping it for them ones. So what's that like leave me with? Parna and uh no tactical position was alright but no. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, the handguns, what have we got? Zeroed, what's zeroed? And bandit. Zeroed and long arm. Long arm, like that. 15% maximum range when throwing grenade type weapons. Mm. No, don't have it. I don't, I don't get bloody grenades often enough to make that worthwhile. I mean, I've got a pipe bomb at the minute, but what's the point? And um, what was it? Zero or something? Zero, 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 there, blah, blah. Plus two percent stacking critical chance bonus when repeatedly attacking the target with handguns. Bonus loss when switching to another target. Ah, right, so. He gets. He only gets two shots at the minute, but if I save up enough for midnight, yeah, I get three shots if I'm stood within range. So plus so plus six on the third shot, plus two, plus four, plus six. Two is critical chance already, which is nine, so that'll take him to fifteen. Might be worth it. Might be worth it, that one. Yes it will. But uh, is there any perks that I would give him now out of the available ones? Kiss oh. Why am I already in position where Kiss ass could could benefit? Oh, yeah, half of them. Uh, so plus two, so that would take him to four. That's a bit harder. Powder packer, what's that? Finding bonus ammo. Ooh, extra ammo when you're su searching. To oh, that's... I'll tell you what, no, that. 
yes, we will have the ability to smart ass and kiss ass a bit better. Okay, anybody else with the skills? No, 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 no. Okay. So the team does need healing, though. Are we out of... Uh... Yeah, we're... oh no, we're not. Pain relievers. He has some. Give it to you, because you get an extra three, is it, out of each one? Okay. So who should we give that to? Uh, oh dear me. Okay. We are going to be short on medic packs because of our stupid little trip. So we need Field Medic 3 for that one. And neither of them have got it. Interesting. Doesn't matter. Right, send that to Rex. Ooh, hang about now. You're on two, aren't you? Whereas you're on one. Will that 20... Good question. I might send one back and just do one at a time and see what you get for each, roughly. Uh... Send one back. Okay, because he can't heal himself, so let's see what you get. Okay, oh, what was, what was he on? 18. Let's see what he gets with two in the skill. Fifty-four. So, ooh, not bad. What? Uh, 58 would have been 50, so 46. Yeah, not bad at all. And what are they supposed to be worth? 41 to 55, so 46. No, that's the small ones. That was a big, that was a big jump then. 25 to 35. Okay, and what does my old, your pick or whatever, my old, my soul, my soul phobic, give him again? Plus 25, so a quarter. So, and what are they? So 25, yes. Ooh. So a quarter would be what? Nearly six, five. Could we call it five? Rounded down. So that would be thirty on the on the bottom range. Yeah, thirty on the bottom range. What? Forty-one on the top range with a plus twenty-five, and he just did forty-six with the same thing. So yeah, no. Send him to him. You're good as a, a backup, but no, this guy's going to do more now. Tex is going to do more healing than you. And... Okay, uh... Got to do this sensibly. Tell you what we need to do, go around and find some scrap to sell. And then... Zed. And then you should do... Ooh. Heals 10 to 20. Tell you what, just do that one. On... Tex. Okay, that'll have to do. Ralph and Tinker are both up Kit Poo Street without a paddle. But we can't do nothing about it. We need more junk. Or... What have we got? We 
you know what, I'm selling that bomb. It is not... It is not worth... Keeping the bomb in the hopes of getting four or five people stood together long enough for it to make a difference is not worth... Going out into the wasteland and possibly fighting raiders on our journeys without enough uh, healing going on in our squad. Oh, look, look at that. 196. Should have bought one. Never mind. Okay, let's do sell. Antibiotics. Shotgun. I am tempted to sell the shotgun ammo because we have a shotgun, but we don't have anyone to use the shotgun. And the energy cells. I mean, she'll, she'll still have the stuff, won't she? We'll be able to buy it back off a later date. He says. Why are you carrying that? Oh, no, do not be selling it. This crystal, is it... I'm paranoid that crystal's going to be useful for something. I'm not getting rid of it yet. Ace's logbook. Pocket medic pack. Angela. Why have you got that and not told us? Never mind. Never mind. So we had some anyway. Okay, never mind. Buy. Let's buy some more because we're short on stuff. Okay, that leaves us with 20 left. There, now they cost too much. Should we get some more Ooh. TNT? So we can get bombs here at the Citadel. If we've got another 20 dollars of scrap or something, how many is that? Five bullets. Five bullets may be the difference we need. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so who's got... Right. Angela, why are you hoarding med packs you can't bloody use? Alright, and you... Uh, give them to him. Yes. And you... Ooh, we've only got two trauma kits, one each. That's not good. Doesn't matter. Right, okay, doesn't matter. We won't be getting into any trouble. That we can't handle, I don't think. He says optimistically. Right, do that one. You'll have to stay slightly, slightly injured, mate. All right. Okay, we're, we're ready. Time to head to the Ag Center and High Pool and ask them, can we stick some repeaters on their towers? It's not like that's a difficult job. We've just got to watch out for raiders in the waste. Yes, yes. What comes after the end? 